Welcome to the fascinating world of my favorite dinosaur, Dilophosaurus. You may recognize this dinosaur from popular media, but the real Dilophosaurus was very different from its fictional portrayals. This early Jurassic predator was one of the most unique theropods of its time, with its distinctive crest and powerful build. In this video, we'll take a deep dive into the discovery, anatomy, evolution, and lifestyle of this incredible dinosaur. So stick around to the end to learn why Dilophosaurus was one of the most important predators of its era. The story of Dilophosaurus begins in 1942 when Navajo fossil hunter Jesse Williams discovered the first remains in Arizona. These fossils were later studied by paleontologist Samuel P. Wells, who initially believed the specimen belonged to Megalosaurus, a common misidentification of theropods at the time. However, in 1970, Wells re-examined the fossils and realized they represented a completely new genus. He named it Dilophosaurus, meaning two-crested lizard, after the pair of distinctive crests on its skull. The fossils were found in the Cayenta Formation, dating to the early Jurassic period, roughly 193 million years ago. This made Dilophosaurus one of the earliest large theropods, providing crucial insights into the evolution of predatory dinosaurs. One of the most striking features of Dilophosaurus was its twin crests, which ran along the top of its skull. While they were too thin and fragile to be used for defense or combat, they may have played a role in species recognition or perhaps sexual display. This suggests that Dilophosaurus may have engaged in visual communication, much like modern birds and reptiles. The skull of Dilophosaurus was relatively light, with large openings called fenestra, which reduced weight while maintaining some strength. Its teeth were long, serrated, and curved, ideal for gripping and slicing through flesh. However, the upper jaw had a noticeable notch, leading some scientists to initially believe it had a weaker bite compared to later theropods. Despite this, recent research suggests Dilophosaurus was a formidable predator. It had powerful forelimbs equipped with sharp claws, which may have helped subdue struggling prey. Its long, muscular legs made it an efficient runner, capable of chasing down prey across the semi-arid floodplains of the early Jurassic. As an early member of the theropod lineage, Dilophosaurus represents an important transitional form in dinosaur evolution. It was more advanced than earlier carnivores like Coelophysis, yet not as specialized as later Jurassic theropods such as Allosaurus and Ceratosaurus. Dilophosaurus belongs to a group called Dilophosauridae, a family of lightly built, crested theropods that flourished in the early Jurassic. While later theropods developed stronger skulls and deeper jaws for bone-crushing bites, Dilophosaurus likely relied on speed, agility, and its sharp teeth to hunt efficiently. Its existence highlights the rapid diversification of theropods after the Triassic-Jurassic extinction event, a mass extinction that wiped out many early reptiles and allowed dinosaurs to dominate terrestrial ecosystems. For its time, Dilophosaurus was one of the largest land predators. It measured around 20 to 23 feet in length and stood about 6.5 feet tall at the hips. It weighed between 880 to 1,100 pounds, making it significantly larger than most Triassic predators and one of the top carnivores of its environment. While Dilophosaurus was not as massive as later Jurassic giants like Allosaurus, its combination of speed, intelligence, and deadly claws made it an effective hunter in its ecosystem. So how did Dilophosaurus live? Fossil evidence suggests that it inhabited river valleys and floodplains, where it likely hunted small to medium-sized dinosaurs and other vertebrates. Some scientists speculate that Dilophosaurus may have been a scavenger as well, using its speed to steal kills from smaller predators. One of the most debated topics is whether Dilophosaurus was a solitary hunter or a social animal. Some trackway evidence suggests that it may have moved in small groups, potentially hinting at pack behavior. However, this remains uncertain, as many theropods were likely opportunistic hunters and could switch between solitary and cooperative hunting depending on the situation. 
Another misconception, largely influenced by its betrayal in Jurassic Park, is that Dilophosaurus could spit venom and had a frill like a frilled lizard. There is no fossil evidence to support this idea. While it makes for great storytelling, the real Dilophosaurus was deadly enough without needing such fictional abilities. In summary, Dilophosaurus was a fascinating and important predator of the early Jurassic, with its distinctive twin crests, lightweight but powerful skull, and swift hunting abilities. It was a crucial step in theropod evolution. As one of the earliest large meat-eating dinosaurs, it paved the way for the rise of even larger and more specialized predators in the Jurassic period. What do you think of Dilophosaurus? Do you think it hunted alone or in groups? Let me know in the comments. And if you enjoyed this deep dive into prehistoric life, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell for more dinosaur content. Thanks for watching, and see you next time.